So in this video, I want to remind you how to add different vectors. We have three different vectors here, 10 meters at 60 degrees, 13 meters at 160 degrees, and 20 meters at 250 degrees. So we want to find out what is the vector sum of those three? What is that resultant going to be? Now, remember, if we draw this, I can pick anywhere on the paper. I can draw. So if I start that as 0, 0, and I picture this to be at 60 degrees, I'm going to come up here. Whatever that 10 becomes, maybe that's going to become my 10. Then I'm going to picture as if I had a new coordinate system there, and I'm going to go 160 degrees from that. So I'll come over this way, 160, slightly longer because it's 13 instead of 10. And then again, if I picture a new coordinate system here, then I'm going to be coming down at 250 degrees for 20 or roughly twice that. So if I picture that being part of that and that being the other part. Now, when I look at the picture, I can easily determine what the resultant is going to be based on the fact that if I think I came, started here, I came up, I went over here, and I went on here, my resultant is going to be from the beginning to the very end. And one of the ways that we'll do that is we break each of these up into their components. So if I break this up into an X component and a Y component, remember that the components are the X and Y values, and we do that because they're at 90 degrees. I can break this guy up into its x and y component, x and y component, and I can break this guy up into its x and y component, x and y, and then those vectors, because they are all in the x direction, I can add those or subtract them. Because these are all in the y direction, I can add or subtract them. And what those will do is they will give me a total vector that is going to be the total y and the total x. Now, mathematically, let's look at that. So if I'm going to break it up into components, remember we go with the saying y sine because x is cosine. So I'll have ax is going to be 10 cosine of 60. And punch that in, you get 5. I'm going to have bx is going to be 13 cosine of 160. I mean, that, that'll come out to be a negative 11.3. And then Cx is going to be 20 cosine of 250, which is going to be negative 6.83. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the y values. So Ay is going to be 10 sine 60, y sine because x is cosine, 8.66. By is going to be 13 sine of 160, which is going to be 6.5. And then Cy will be 20 times the sine of 250, which gives me negative 18.8. Now, remember, because these are all in the x direction, we literally can just add those up. So when we add those, we're going to get an x total, which will be negative 13.3, and or 13.0, and that'll be in meters again. And we literally can add these up, and we'll have a y total, which will be negative 3.63 meters. And if you look at those, those should be fairly representative of whatever your picture is. So since I have, this is my AX value, it's 5, it's shorter than the 10. This is 8.66, it's shorter than the 10, but bigger than the 5. Same thing for the B value. I have a negative X value, negative 11.3, and a positive Y value, 6.5. And then for the very last one, I have a negative X, 6.83, and I have a big negative y, which is that negative, then these two totals, the x total is in the negative direction, negative 13.0, and then the y total is in the negative y direction also. So the last step that I have here is to find out, well, what is this angle that the new vector is at, resultant, and what is the magnitude of that? Well, since I have two sides of that triangle, I can find the third side by just doing the Pythagorean theorem. So negative 13.0 squared, plus a negative 3.63 squared and square rooted. And that's going to give me a value of 13.6 meters. And then to find the angle, I'm going to look at this as if I were to flip this into the third quadrant. Then I'm going to say the inverse tangent, and I'm going to do y over x if I put it up into this side. So I'll have the 3.63 over the 13.0 and that's going to give me 15.5 degrees. But remember, that's only going to be this angle, so I still have to add that to 180 to get 185.5 degrees. So my final answer, my final vector answer, 
is going to be that 13.6 and 185.5 degrees. Now you can use this method on any types of vectors, any kind of vectors that you're adding together. If it's just two vectors you're adding together, you do the same thing. All it would do is get rid of get rid of one of those lines, but you're still going to get your x total, your y total, add them up, and then you're going to Pythagorean theorem and inverse tangent. If you have four or five vectors. It'll just add lines over here, but you're still going to get an x total, a y total, and add them up to get your Pythagorean theorem and your inverse tangent. 